Hello, this is Thomas Donald Jacobs for Paperboys on Thursdays, and this week's topic is pride. Um, first, I just want to start by saying that I know not everyone takes part in pride events, and that's, you know, for different reasons. Um, there may not be a pride in your area. You may not want to be open, for whatever reason, about your sexuality or gender identity. That's your business. Maybe you have sensory processing issues and it's an overload. I get that. Maybe you just think that other people are asshats and you don't want to be around them. It's all, it's all fine. It's all good. I'm not here to make anyone feel more or less queer because they do or don't do this thing. That's not, I don't care. Um... There are also people who have a lot of critiques about Pride events, especially some of the larger, more established Pride events, like the apparent resistance to intersectionality. Think about the people who are upset about the introduction of a new Pride flag, for example, or commercialization and pinkwashing by companies who actually don't have very good attitudes or policies towards the LGBTQA plus community. Facebook. Or the presence of police, not just at the events, but in the events. And those are all legitimate criticisms. But, there's always a but here. <laughs> I think that those things are best addressed by changing pride from within or setting up alternative prides, not doing away with pride entirely. Pride is still important to a lot of people for different reasons. Um, I take part in pride season. Um, uh, as well as hanging up flags in my apartment windows and wearing Pride-themed t-shirts and bracelets and pins, I go to Pride events uh, for uh, a few different reasons, some more shallow than others. <laughs> First, it's fun. Um, I like to go to Pride dance parties, uh, just to be clear, not to dance. <laughs> All right. I dance like I need a hip replacement. I mostly go because I like to see other people dancing and having a good time, and I often enjoy the playlists. I like the music. Um, I think that Lil Nas X's Call Me By Your Name, um, the new Power Bottom anthem, as one of my friends recently <laughs> referred to it as, is going to be really popular at a coming Pride dance events, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, second, somewhat less shallow, <laughs> I like to be around other trans people and allies. It genuinely feels good to be out in a group, in public, surrounded by other people like me, a lot of them friends, just having a good time. Because, you know what? That don't happen a lot. There are support groups and things for trans people in some places, but generally, they ain't super happy meetings. People, people are there to talk about their problems mostly, not share their joyous experiences. And that's fine. But there needs to be a place for the other thing too, and I think that pride is, for many, that place. Um... I remember just after I got my top surgery, I was at Amsterdam Pride. I was actually on one of the boats, and it felt incredible to just be out there with other people who understood with the sun on my skin, no shirt, for the first time that I can remember as a human being, enjoying the sun on my skin and loving myself and not hating the fact that I had boobs. Like, it was, for me, a really incredible experience. I would not want to deny that to anyone else, or to see that denied to anyone else by 
cancellation of pride in general because of the problems associated with pride, which can be addressed. Third, pride is activism. That's how it started. And that's how it is still for many. Not for everyone, but for many. Being out and celebrating your identity is an act of activism when you are a marginalized group. And queer people are not accepted everywhere. Even in places where gay marriage is a thing, gays, lesbians, bisexuals, transgender people, what have you, are still targeted for violence, violence and institutional discrimination. So I like to walk in pride marches, especially at the smaller prides, like um, Brussels Trans Pride, which I'm hoping is going to become an annual thing. I like to attend other events organized as part of Pride, like lectures on intersectionality and sexual health and upcoming legislation relating to our community. And I like to attend performances by queer and trans artists, which is also an act of activism and an important one for people who can only openly express themselves that way during an event like Pride. That's an important platform. So that was it. Those were my thoughts about Pride. Um, if you disagree, that's cool. You can put it in the comments. Uh, you know, just have an argument. And uh, I don't want my children to see this. Uh, if that's the case, don't go. Um, but... Hopefully, we'll be able to have Pride gatherings soon. Um, and to make that happen, in the meantime, make good choices, keep each other safe, and get vaccinated if you can. Bye.